The blood is swinging, needles in my arm, life is dandy, face is beat, lives are being saved. How to save a life, where did I go wrong? I didn't lose a friend. I understand that some people are anemic or they have health conditions that do not allow them to give blood. I don't want anyone to feel guilty off the back of this video. Hi guys, it's my first vlog. <laughs> I'm so goofy. But yeah, today I am taking you on my blood donation trip. I have been donating blood for a few years now. I think I've done 12, maybe 13 donations. And I got a message asking me to come in and donate. I tend to donate regularly, but since the lockdown, I have obviously just been staying at home. But I got a message from them asking me to come in and please give a donation and that it was acceptable. And I thought, why not? So I am going to turn this into a vlog and you guys can follow me on my blood donation journey. Right, we are in the car and we are ready to go. I have just um, stopped at the local petrol station. It's just across from where I'm gonna give blood and I thought I'd pick up some snacks. Although I've already eaten, I like to have some snacks with me um, just to quickly top off of my sugar, and make sure that I am good to go. Oh, look at that glow, hello. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna pick up a few like treats to get the blood sugar up in case it's a little bit low and then I'm gonna head in for my donation right so I got the goods time to go 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 let's go get this blood oh well, not get let's go give this blood even I'm gonna hop in a car literally I could just walk across the street but obviously I can't leave my car in a Tesco car park so let's go Ooh. Sure. I didn't ask Danielle if she wanted anything. Yikes. Did we eat it first? <laughs> okay. Start off. We're here. All right, you're fit and well and happy in the last uh, 14 days. Yep. You or nobody in your household been told to self-isolate in the last 14 days? No one has. And not knowingly, not in contact with anybody with the coronavirus in the last 14 days? No. No? I'm going to ask you to use the hand gel, please. Okay. I'm just in the waiting area. I've just come in and I've checked in as having an appointment. One of the first things that you'll be given is one of these forms to fill in, which basically just is for your donor health check. Well, no, donor health check for regular donors. So it basically asks you questions like, have you tested positive for HIV? Have you um, been ill? And those kind of regular questions to make sure that you're in good health. And then once they've gone through it, then I'll get called for my iron test. Another really important thing that I have to make sure, not just me, that anyone has to do, is drink loads of water. So when I came in, there were some jugs of water at the table and they offered me some, but I already came with mine. Um, I like to have a good litre to maybe a litre and a half before I go in. Um, it's really important to be hydrated so you don't feel faint afterwards and actually so your blood flows pretty normally. Um, because they can only have the needle in your arm for so long so if your blood flow is pretty slow they will have to stop the donation and then it will be a waste unfortunately so have loads of water I've just done my hemoglobin test um, in there and basically all they do is they do a quick little prick of your finger 
that and then put that in solution and as long as it's going down then you have a good amount of hemoglobin in your blood and you are suitable to make a donation if you unfortunately don't have enough i think this has only happened to me once where i failed the test um, then you won't be able to give unfortunately but this time everything is good it's just a very tiny prick like it's just a click and then they wipe it off they wipe off the first um a bit of blood that comes on and then they take a tiny pipette and squeeze up a little bit of your blood and drop in the solution i'll see if i've got another video i couldn't record this time around but i'll see if i can find a, a video of when i've done it in the past and include that in this vlog so right now we just did what test it's the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin, hemoglobin test. test. And so you took a little prick of blood mm -hmm. from my finger. We 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 swap the first drop for yeah. infection control, mm -hmm. and we take the second drop to do the. And then hemoglobin. the faster it goes down to the bottom, yes, the better. That's, yeah, amazing. Thank you. So at the moment we have Debbie is cleaning my arm. Nice to this for me. How long are we cleaning for? 30 seconds. 30 seconds cleaning. We're not gonna, we're not allowed to show you the needle going in. But you'll see my face and I'm not gonna win sport because it, it really doesn't hurt, so yeah. And as you can see, the blood is in a bag and it's being swayed by a machine um, so it doesn't, I guess, coagulate, I think. I think it's so it doesn't like clot or coagulate or whatever, I don't know. Sha, the blood is swinging, the needles in my arm, life is dandy, face is beat, lives are being saved. In a matter of how many minutes? Oh, we're already halfway there. So I think another minute or two and I'll be done. Um, if I show you, so we've got a, a reader on the machine which basically shows you how far along I've gone. So that solid line is near the end. So you can see that I'm nearly done. I think in total, they take about 400 milliliters, thereabouts, of your blood. Um, which sounds like a lot, but if you think about how much blood goes into surgery, it's really not that much. And I do it like once every four months. So yeah. Out to save a life. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. No, I didn't lose a friend. Did I know how to save a life? Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. The finished beep I am done the blood donation is done you can hear the beeping sound we are out of here okay. yay we're all done six minutes and 30 seconds of a needle in your arm is enough to save somebody's life do it do it do it so the taking out of the needle part always like amazes me because I don't feel it come out that's what she said <laughs> So at this point, Haley's just taking the needle out, and we are done. Yeah. Apply the pressure. Three fingers on there, thumb underneath. A couple of minutes to just relax. Okay. Can I see my bag of blood, please? Yeah. That's my blood. <laughs> <laughs> my trophy. <laughs> I'm done with my donation and now it's time for some treats! This is the best part of giving blood. <laughs> it's really not. I've got a Twix bar in my bag so I'll be fine. Yeah, 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 I'll be fine. Thank you.
and we're done. For donation over. So I'm hoping that I've inspired you or even if I haven't inspired you, I have dispelled some myths and some rumors and made you feel more comfortable about giving blood. Um, in the grand scheme of things, if fear is your only worry, I would say put on your big boy or your big girl panties or boxes and do it. Um, fear shouldn't be stopping you. But obviously I understand that some people um, have genuine phobias and, phobias and might pass out if they see blood and things like that. But again, I mean, you don't have to look at the bag. You don't have to look at the needle going in. A lot of the times, like you saw in this video, um, my face is turned elsewhere um but yeah do it do it save a life you never know who it could be you could be saving someone who chat do it anyway guys thanks for tuning in bye morning guys so it's the day after my blood donation. I just wanted to give a quick like recap on how I'm feeling today. Um, it's 10.21 in the morning. Um, I'm already working from home, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Um, um, I didn't feel any kind of way. I feel like in all my donations, I have um, only ever felt dizzy maybe once or twice. Um, I typically never have any kind of adverse reactions um, and I keep the plaster on until the next day so that's the plaster you're only really supposed to keep that bit on for 30 minutes but whatever I always just leave it on a bit longer my finger prick you can see a very very tiny dot where my hemoglobin test was done <clears throat> how am I feeling great I feel fine I feel normal I've had a good night's rest I don't feel dizzy I don't feel lightheaded um today everything is working as usual so i think this is a good place to wrap up this vlog if you've been considering giving blood or if you've never even thought about giving blood i would really encourage you to do it obviously no pressure i understand that some people are anemic or they have health conditions that do not allow them to give blood and i get that i don't want anyone to feel guilty off the back of this video but if you are in a position where you think you are fit and healthy and only thing that's stopping you is fear or the fact that you've never considered it, why don't you use this as an opportunity to give it a try? Um, if you find that you can, fantastic. If you find that you can't, at least you'll understand if there's any kind of underlying issues. You might just find out useful stuff. Actually, it was from my donations that I found out my blood group being O negative. I found out that I have no traits of sickle cell because initially I thought I, my mom had told me that I was a carrier, that my genotype was AS, but actually I'm AA. Things like O negative, O positive, AB, blah, blah, blah. I had no idea what my blood group was initially. This has been really useful for me to find out that I am O negative and has given me more of an impetus to want to give blood on a regular basis because O negative donors are universal donors, which means anyone can receive my blood and it means that if there's an emergency if perhaps someone's been in a car accident and they haven't had time to find out what blood group they are they they will most likely just give them O negative blood to begin with because that is the universal donor so O negative is always high in demand and unfortunately it's quite a small percentage of the population so things like this just make me feel like you know what yes take the blood <laughs> Anyway, guys, I said I was going to keep this short and sweet. Um, I've actually got a meeting to get to. So, um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have not already, please do like and subscribe and share and tell your friends and encourage people to give blood. Um, if, there, if you have any questions, please do ask me. Um, if I don't know the answers, I will point you in the direction of blood.co.uk. Um, and yeah, so give blood, save a life. Love you, bye.